And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And on the hill in this one, Jordan Montgomery. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So we'll see if he continues to dance his way out of danger. Here's Nico Horner. Ball to strike. Out front and foul to the left side. Horner, a guy who grew up in the Bay Area, was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams with Ricky Henderson and company. And Nico loved getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. That one the other way. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to do good. That pretty much splits the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Ian Happ up to hit. The other way, that's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Now the tag at third, and they got it. To second, but way too late, safe there. He comes up firing, and there was an anticipation and kind of an excitement when the ball went in his direction that he was going to have an opportunity to throw somebody out. And that's the attitude that aggressive and good outfielders have. That's ripped to right down the line. And that should be extra bases. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And he's got a double. Picks himself up at RBI. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Here's Cody Bellinger. Four for seven in the series, so he's been good. The 1-1. One, one. Doing one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's two away. That is it. The designated hitter. Next is the designated hitter, Patrick Wisdom, with three hits so far in the series, and he's knocked in three runs as well. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Swanson rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take a two-run lead. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Trey Mancini now. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. The lefty ready and a 1-1. And yeah, that's outside. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Misses outside. Three balls and a strike. Tucker Barnhart in the on-deck circle. Two outs and one in scoring position. Cool. Rips one to right and foul ball. Foul ball and it remains a full count. And now the lefty caught him looking for the K. Back here in St. Louis and towing the slab, Jamison Tyon. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just 
or having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environments. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Just one of those at-bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. That is good. The first base. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Left field. Hat moving under it. He's got it. There's two away. Throw, and it gets away. Stuff right there. Here's Nolan Arenado. Two for eight in the series so far. Next pitch is outside. There's the strike. Carlson at second with two down. Next pitch misses, and it's a full count. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail it here, 2 0. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. One for four with a triple last night. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Liner, base hit. I think I figured out how to hit with Sini Suzuki. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Here's Nick Madrigal. Next pitch is outside. On the ground to the left. Slings to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. And now it's going to be Wilson Contreras. Next offering down in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. Now, Jack Sawinski. That one's in there. Now, one and two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Toss to Mancini. That's out number three. Redbirds down quietly, and they're down 2 nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium, out of the third inning, here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Next offering misses down and away. You know, these Cubs doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. 
It's still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Motter whips it to first on the run. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The left and next for the Cubs, Ian Happ. Singled and scored his first time. One down, base is empty. They say it went. Next offering is down low. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. This one lifted in the air, left field. Sawinski makes the grab for the second out. Just pull off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Gorman throws on to first. And Swanson it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Juan Yepes. Lifted in the air right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back to the top of the lineup. This is Dylan Carlson. One for Got him! And one gone. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready. Ah, uh, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Mancini with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. On the ground. And it goes just foul. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Grounder might be two. Over to Swanson. He turns it on a Mancini. Two. Get that one back, boys. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And a whole Back here in St. Louis, and now the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. The wind of the pitch. Late with the swing there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Got it by him for the K. And now, Patrick Wisdom doubled in his first A.B. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Next pitch misses way outside. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the Get air, up, right field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like oh, extra bases. Oh, Round second, digging for third. Modern with a relay throw, low throw, and he can't dig it out. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now, Trey Mancini. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Wisdom stands at third with one gone in the inning. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And here's the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Struck out swinging his first time. Here's a 1-1. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. 
puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here is Seiya Suzuki. Two balls, one strike. Two and one now. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-1. Ready to go. Bottom four. And here is Nolan Arenado. That one fouled off. Two and two. You know, these cards showing great discipline at the plate. And patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Phoenix, is that you? A cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters oh. can handle. So I'd say he fooled them with just enough of that late action. Fouls one off. What's two and two. Name you know, sometimes be, uh, all it takes is getting to the next please. arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Runs it up to 96 to That's record the Phoenix. punch out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And down in. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Nick Madrigal. Check swing, but he went too far. And yeah, the count, one and two. That's to third. Arenado to first, in time. One up, one down. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. That's hard hit on the line. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, it'll be a very positive sign for him and for his team. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And it falls. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Dansby Swanson stands in. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. At the belt and fires. And another ball. On the ground to short. Modern. They get the force. And that's the third out. One left for the Cubs, but they still lead it 3 1. And welcome back. Bottom of the go. inning. Here's the Nolan one. Gorman. The second Take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Mm -hmm. We would like to officially announce the unofficial announcement of Stell Blue Coffee advertising for the Next offering is in for a strike. You know, these Cardinals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Wind of the pitch. 
Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Got him swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Now, oh, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove Whoa. side across the strike zone, yeah. especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Juan Yepes next up for the Cardinals. And a 1-1. And that's through there for a strike. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Yeah. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now it's the shortstop, Taylor Motter. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Righty delivers. And a big swing and a miss. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Tie him. Makes the grab. Is, you? And that's the inning. New pitcher for the Cardinals. We're ready Jake to go off it up. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Bellinger up to hit. Back to work. 3 2 now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Patrick. And up next for Chicago, Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom. That misses. And Still the count's full. Phoenix, Meanwhile, we can, we can activity in the bullpen. Adam Whatever. Wainwright getting loose What's out there. Name? Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Explain to, explain that to me right now. Explain that to me right now. What happened? Yeah, yeah. And now the first baseman, Trey Mancini, who's no, over for two with a pair of strikeouts. What can I call you? Like that one I'm the tight. other way. There's one. What a double play that was! Inning over. Bottom of the six, and here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Dylan Carlson. Next offering is in the dirt. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Up the middle, on the run, throw to first. One up, one down. The right fielder, number 21. As expected, we're going into a rain delay, and I have a feeling this is going to be a long break, Singy. It is really coming down as they put the tarp on the infield. Yeah, I think we kind of saw this one coming, Boog, and it's not going to be a short break either, so I guess we go grab some coffee or something, man. Go sneak in a game of the show before play picks back up. Bring it. Welcome back, Ladies and, and we have good news. The tarp is off the field, the weather is cleared, and we're about ready to resume play. Adrian Sampson, the new pitcher, looks ready to go. And aren't we all? A long pause in the action, but now it's time to go once again. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now bad, first base. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. His home and away splits there. Next offering is in for a strike. You now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. And 
And a pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Next offering is downstairs. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. And they still trail it here, three to one. Dakota Hudson gets the ball now. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now Tucker Barnhart. The next pitch misses. And that's ball two. That's ripped. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive into center field. So that definitely felt good. So digging now, in, uh, Seiya Suzuki. His split numbers Say, between uh, June and July Suzuki. there. Right-handed reliever off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. Righty to the plate. Ouch, that one drilled him. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Barnhart at second. Suzuki at first with no outs. Next pitch is popped up. Goldie brings it in with a nice running grab. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about yeah, impossible to get the barrel to. So the batting order turns over. And the next pitch is way outside. Runners at first and second with one gone. Base hit into the outfield. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Next to hit, Ian Happ. Next pitch is downstairs. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Next pitch misses inside. And now three and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Base is loaded. One away. Oh, he hit him. And that brings home a run. Definitely a problem with the release point there, and it just comes back to bite them. They're going to get away from you at times, but you just can't let it happen with the bases loaded. That's a painful RBI for the hitter. And yeah, the right hitter deals. That's in there. That was the pitch to hit. Four seam fastball instead of that sinker ball that makes you hit it on the ground. He missed a good one. 
in the dirt but kept close and an excellent job keeping it right there. Strike three got him swinging huge strike out there. Well that slider down and away it's just kind of a slow death with two strikes you're looking to protect and halfway to the plate you know you've committed and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand hitter waits. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Come on, Cody. Find one here. Break it open. 2 2 now. Center field. Carlson in pursuit. Mm. Brings it in for the third out. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Cubs four, and the Cardinals one. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the seventh, here's Nolan Arenado. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Horner over to first, and they get Arenado for the out. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. There's a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Here comes a pitch. Ripped on a line. He didn't get there. Pat makes the play, and it's out number three. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Lost a follow. New pitcher now, Chris Stratton. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. 1-1 one, one now. And strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play. And they are doing some special things with it. And the righty deals. And that one lifted in the air center field. Carlson settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The catcher. Tucker. Tucker, Tucker Barnhart now at the plate. Out towards left center. Sawinski sizes this one up, snags it on the run. And that is the third. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. 
Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Now at the plate, Juan Yepes. And a foul ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one to first. He takes it on his own. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And now Taylor Motter. On the ground, right side. And it's off the bag. Out oh, number two. Yeah, let's go. Next to hit, Dylan Carlson. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, John King. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 4-2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Henesis Cabrera. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. In the air, right field. And there's one down. So up now for Chicago, Nick Madrigal. And a 3-1 on the way. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to now think about. Second base. Digging Nico. in, Nico Horner. Horner. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Jack Swing went around. And the count one and two. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Carlson puts it away. And yeah, there's two away. Man at first, Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit, the Happ Daddy. Swings through that one for strike two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Two, three. Back here at Bush Stadium. Stepping in, Lars Nootbaar. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And Johnny, and Johnny. Hammer, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, he was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Swing and a miss struck him out. Yeah. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Known for his rocket arm oh behind God. the plate. Next offering misses. Ball two. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Foul. We'll see another no, payoff pitch. The tying run at the plate. And ball four to a board. They're not ready to go home quite yet. 
So two outs with runners on the corners. Here's the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Next pitch off the play. Three and two down. And there's ball four. It's never easy. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Left hand batter waits. That one missed. Foul ball, another 2-2 oh, upcoming. Got him! And that's the ball game. These guys are laser focused right now. They knew coming into this series they were going to have to execute, come up with the big hits and the timely hits, as well as pitch and pitch effectively. They've done all of that. They've won the first three.